So hydrocephalus is the buildup of cerebrospinal fluid in the uh, kind of pockets of the brain that produce it. Uh, and that leads to things like headaches, uh, gait disturbances, and eventually, if untreated, uh, death. The kind of focus of our entire project is looking at better ways to treat hydrocephalus. And currently, the, the paradigm for treating hydrocephalus is draining the excess cerebrospinal fluid from the ventricles in the brain to some sort of drainage site like the peritoneal cavity. So a shunt is actually, it's pretty simple. It's just they take a tube and they connect the, the space in the brain where the fluid is to a uh, drainage site in your body. So that channel is called a shunt. So our device is meant to kind of complex with the shunt and then apply pressure so that it kind of sucks fluid through uh, for people who don't have the pressure to push it by themselves. Our device has two main components. The first is the intracranial pressure sensing component, which is here in the brain. And then we also have the peritoneal device. So the intracranial pressure device will be just measuring the intracranial pressure, and it'll send that data to our peritoneal device where Essentially, we have the pump where it regulates the CSF or cerebrospinal fluid movement and it also has the peritoneal pressure sensing component as well. And this device can be wirelessly charged and this device will actually uh, send data via Bluetooth to a computer that the physician can access later for live data um, to set more uh, parameters specific to the patient as well. So at this point, we're just focused on making it smaller uh, so that we can implant it and also working on kind of the the compatibility of the device with being implanted, so uh, giving it coating so that you know the body doesn't attack it, uh, making it easier to implant basically.